Hi everybody, it is Mrs. Grissom with Liberty Elementary School and I have another book for you in the Middle Grade Madness Book Talk series. This book that I just finished is actually the second time I have read this book. And it's one of my absolute favorites of all time. And it's a book that just makes me want to be a better person. And this is a book, I don't care who you are, boy, girl, 80 years old, 10 years old, uh, everyone, Everyone needs this book, especially in the world we live in today. Everybody needs this book. Um, so I just challenge you, uh, get a copy of this, read it. If you're a parent, get it, read it to yourself, read it to your kids. It's just that kind of book. And like I said, it makes me want to be a better person. And we just need more people in the world that just want to do good for people. Um, this book is called Captain Superlative by J.S. Puller. And at the top, it says, life is too short to be anything less than superlative. So this book is about a middle school girl. Her name is Janie Silverman. And Janie is one of those people who just wants to blend in. She wants to be invisible. She doesn't want to stand out in any way. And there's a lot of kids that are like that. If you have a middle schooler, you know, middle school is a tough, tough age. Uh, there's a lot of drama that happens in middle school. There's, there's bullies in middle school. There are people like Janie that just want to blend in and disappear. And so Janie is this girl. She lives in a small town, kind of like ours, and nothing ever happens there. And that's the way she likes it. She, she likes when nothing happens. She just, she just wants life to be normal. Well, it is until one day a stranger shows up in the school. And this stranger is a bit odd, you could say. And it changes Janie's life. And as it turns out, it, she changes many people's lives. I am going to read just a few pages out of the book where we meet this new stranger. Okay, and that was when I caught my first glimpse of her. She wasn't very tall, probably not even five feet. For, but for some reason, she seemed bigger. She filled the space around her. Her hands were on her hips, her chin up, and her chest forward. It was the same sort of classic stance I saw on the cover of my dad's comic books, wide and open, completely exposed, unafraid. Probably a good thing being unafraid considering the way she was dressed. She wore a bathing suit. It was the beginning of a wet and cold January and she looked ready for the beach. The shiny silver suit had thick straps joined together by silver rings on top of her shoulders. Under it, she had a pair of bright, almost neon blue tights. There was a hole in her left side near her ankle, a bit of a rip going up the side of her leg that was only partly hidden by a red top, red high top sneaker. She also wore blue rubber gloves, the kind my dad used to wash dishes in the kitchen sink. Draped over her shoulders was a red cape, probably made out of a pillowcase, judging from the way it bunched up behind her neck. Dead silence. It had, I had never heard a school hallway that still. Everyone was staring at her. Everyone. Time stopped. I couldn't tell what she was thinking or feeling. A red mask hid her face. The strings of it tied messily behind her head, with strands of thick neon blue synthetic hair of a wig caught up in the knot. I could see her mouth, though, her lips curling up into some kind of wicked smile. Who are you? Someone from the crowd asked. I didn't realize at first that it was me. She turned to me. Everyone did. I wanted to shrink against the locker, maybe even pass through it. The heat of so many eyes was a little more than I could take. The wind had been knocked out of my lungs. Fortunately, the moment she spoke, the attention turned back, to her, back on her. Captain Superlative, she said in a voice full of confidence and certainty. Champion of Deerwood Park Middle School, here to defend honor, justice, and the forces of good. She made a broad, sweeping gesture with one arm. Have no fear, citizens. Both arms went up, fingertips stretched out, and pressed together like blades to cut through the air. Captain Superlative is here to make all troubles disappear. She whipped around and shot down the hall faster than life. She was like she was flying. Her cape fluttered in the air behind her, an enormous letter C made of blue, uh, blue felt glued at the back. We stood there in a state of stunned silence, the sort that followed a natural disaster, a tidal wave. Even after she disappeared, we felt her there. It was the only sound, it was only the sound of the bell marking the end of a passing period that broke the spell and sent us off in a thousand directions, like motes of dust, whispering about the outfit, the catchphrase, the name, the strangeness of it all. So, this is Captain Superlative, 
and she's a girl that shows up and she's doing all these good deeds for people, but she's dressed strangely and she acts strangely and she's labeled a freak by a lot of people. But kindness is contagious. And her effect that she has on the school and on Janie, who wants to shrink into the background, is is amazing and captivating. And like I said, you read this book and you just want to go and do good things for people because you see the kind of effect that somebody like this can have. And like I said, kindness is contagious. And in this world, we need more of that today. So I challenge you, read this book, be superlative, stand out, be brave, just do good. Bring goodness to this world. Um, highly, highly recommend this. Please read this book. Like I said, I don't care how old you are. I don't care who you are. Read this book. This is a book I will remember for the rest of my life. It has had a tremendous impact on me. Um, and I would really love to see me, more people read it. So, Captain Superlative by J.S. Puller. And that's this week's Middle Grade Mountains Book Talk. Happy reading. <laughs>